Hello and welcome to the Lynx YouTube channel. I'm the deputy editor of the paper, Oliver Pridmore. October saw the conclusion of the University of Lincoln's first Black History Month spearheaded by its students' union, which had previously come under criticism for not doing it in previous years. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by its president, Kudzai Muzagaza, to reflect on the month. Uh, and Kudzai, it's concluded now. And what is your broad take on the reception that the month got from people around campus? Um, I think um, Black History Month was one of those things that, obviously, like you said, you know, we had a bit of criticism last year over um, having not um, done much to celebrate it. But I think this year um, there's been a wealth um, of really good reception uh, from students, members of the public, uh, members of academic staff. And I think it's been an opportunity to really explore and engage in a different type of liberation type campaign um, that the student body here were very receptive to. So all the programmes and events that we put in place um, over the month of October um, really complemented the kind of vibe that a lot of students would have been able to engage in, and particularly students who um, the month is quite pertinent to, um, they were able to engage and enjoy all the events that we put on as well. And have you got any personal highlights from the month in terms of the events that you put on? I think um, the the welcome event that we had at the start of the month um, held here in the engine shed where we had Amate Doku, Sue Liebert, Tanya Nelson and um, uh, Sydney McFarlane. Um, all individuals were very, very prominent in their respective fields and were able to help considerably. Um, it was a really good opportunity to have discussions and, and, and kind of explore issues and topics that otherwise we don't really explore. Um, and we're able to engage a subset of the student body who are um, normally not very engaged in the students' union. So it was a really good opportunity to, to engage in that. And looking back on the success of that month then, do you feel any regret for not doing it sooner? I think... Um, uh, over the previous year, um, obviously with the nature of the Students' Union, you, you get a new wave of sabbatical officers in in June and then they go through an intensive training and, and acclimatisation process over the summer. Um, because Black History Month is the first campaign in October of the year, really it's um, quite difficult for it to be student-led by the, the officers. Um, so one of the things that I'm definitely taking forward and working on this year is actually looking at making it sustainable and one of those campaigns that the SU was an organisation rather than um, a remit of a particular officer, um, it becomes that sort of um, drive that we have to make it more sustainable. Um, it would have been wonderful to do something within my first year as president, but uh, of course with the nature and the timing of where everything was, it was actually quite difficult to do. Is there anything that can be done to make it easy then for new presidents in their first year to sort of adjust any quicker and start these type of events any quicker? Um, the nature of students' unions is that, you know, it, it's, a, it's a very big organisation, a very big context to come into and try and appreciate, um, particularly if you don't have any sort of understanding of what it is um, before, before kind of going into the role. So at the moment, in regards to um, the elections process and what we're trying to do for students coming into the role, we're having a much more comprehensive involvement in terms of informing um, individuals want to run for presidency, want to run for any of the vice presidencies and actually informing them about the wider responsibilities that they have within the union. So everything from being a trustee right down to being a student representative, being an activist and holding a portfolio that you have um, within the role. So there's quite a lot of work that's going on behind the scenes, but in terms of actually um, arming the officers with a, with, a, with an opportunity or a skill set to be able to do campaigns come the, the start of the academic year, I think it's something that we need to embed into a programme of events that we know we're doing. So it's wider than just the individual officers themselves. And with that sort of context on that, do you still feel as though the criticism that you received for not doing it sooner was justified? I think all criticisms to a students union are, are justified. You know, you have a, a sub, you have a student body who are very invested in in the union as a whole, and it's about um, you know taking that feedback from students. So if students aren't happy about a particular aspect of what the union is doing, they're within their rights to let us know. So when we had students who said they weren't happy that the union didn't really do much for Black History Month, completely justified because that's their view and that's what that's what they want from their students' union. And it's of course making sure that that happens. So. I mean, we come under criticism for quite a lot of things and some of it justifies, some of it not. But it's the nature of what we're in. Um, it's the nature of the organisation and it's the nature of what the membership is. Um, and I will always advocate for students coming up to me and saying, you're not doing a good enough job on X, Y, Z. Because um, I can then look at that very objectively and try and do my best to make sure that, um, you know, we do as best as we can.
And so going forward now, do you think that um, what you've done with it will have left a lasting legacy after you've left the post? Um, as as with anything you do in the role, really, it's it's not about personally. I feel anyway, it's not about the individual. Um, rather, it's about the wider context. It's about the student body. It's about us as a collective and as a community. So for me, in regards to a legacy per se, it means that you know hopefully we'll be doing this every single month um every single year in terms of recognizing black history month but beyond that actually having conversations around the top of topics and issues wider than just um you know devolving them to just an individual month i think that stems from having um impassioned um volunteer officers who really want to take the helm in terms of these um, types of campaigns so the campaigns network is in its second or third year at the moment and um What's happening is it's it's grown actually in terms of how many volunteer officers we have within the campaigns network, and what they can do and what they're advocated to do is then take those agendas forward and make sure that the SU is doing a lot of things. Um, so you know you can build your your student leaders, but then they have a network of officers underneath them who are able to drive that. And every year when we have elections, what would be a good thing for me is making sure that we have a. Um, uh, BAME officer elected, we have a women's officer elected, we have an LGBT plus officer elected, we have a disability student officer elected, we have a mature student um, you know, officer elected and kind of going through all those different liberation officer roles and making sure that there's somebody representing that demographic of students every year because then that will advocate for all those campaigns. As you say you picked up on that a bit there, is there a danger that by celebrating Black History Month you do consign the issues raised within it to just one month of the year, do you think? Yeah, completely. And I think that falls into line with all other types of campaigns. You know, you've got LGBT um, History Month in February. Um, you don't want to consign all of the discussions around LGBT issues down to just one month. Um, and in a similar fashion, you know, you know, you have pride. Um, you don't want to consign everything, you know, just down to that one particular day or one week of celebration. So what you want to do is an, engender an environment where we are talking about all these issues and we are really pushing forward that agenda. Um, but it's something that we can make sure that students are actively involved in. And that's by having those volunteer officers in place. And there was a range of events. As you mentioned the welcome, welcoming panel discussion. Uh, there was also some screening mm -hmm. of films at yep. the Wildwood Cinema. How much preparation did go into them? It must have been quite uh, a lot. Yeah, there was quite a lot of um, preparation, uh, you know, a lot of resources used in order to, to put those e events on. Um, but, you know, we were, we were planning everything to do with Black, Black History Month from about May or June time. So there was a lot of forethought, forethought in that. Um, and it being one of the first campaigns where we really did actually um, put a wealth of events on, you obviously need to make sure that you're preparing well in advance. So, um, yeah, we started planning in about May, June time. And the idea for the screenings actually came um, from uh, a meeting I had with the Afro-Caribbean Society. You know, and they said, you know, it's all well and good having the panel discussions and really heavy informative debates and discussions. But, you know, we want to celebrate things that are in popular culture, films, music and things like that. So we thought, actually, do you know what? Having a film screening would be fantastic. And Wildwood was a fantastic venue for it. Um, it was relatively well received by students. Um, we had um, students who, were, who basically went to every single film. Um, and I think it was one of those unique things about the month that was quite different, quite quirky. Um, and it, it was a lot of fun. And did you have much collaboration with the Afro-Caribbean Society on this thing? Because obviously they were one of the key societies who were pushing for this black history month. yeah um yeah we, we had um one of the things we did was consult obviously we want to make sure that students are involved in the discussions for what we do so i consulted with the Afro caribbean society in terms of what events were, we were putting on and and, and and the sort of program as you will and the itinerary for the month um so there was involvement in that regard um i think over the next few years we really need to embed that connection a little bit deeper and making sure that we are getting um because for all intents and purposes, the Afro Caribbean Society isn't a representative body in the sense that um, it feeds into the the governance of the democracy that we have within the union. That's where our BAME campaigns group sits. Um, so, in essence, the Afro Caribbean Society was able to give us an insight that was quite different to how I would have been looking at it from a representative perspective. Um, but we need to make sure that we really do embed that connection and that interaction um, a lot most solidly um, over this year and certainly into next year and whenever we do Black History Month. And finally, when you leave the post as SU President, do you think you'll look back on your work on Black History Month as one of your highlights of those two years? Of think? course, yeah. I think, you know, it was a really good month. It was a... And there were a lot of things, there were a lot of lessons to learn from it. Um, I think 
with it being my last year within the presidency, there are quite a few things that I'm quite happy and quite proud of. And I think um, that would definitely be one of the highlights. Um, it, 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 for me, I want to just make sure that whoever comes into the role after me is, is, is well equipped and kind of knows exactly what they're heading into because um, it is quite an odd role in itself. And, you know, you find yourself doing loads of things you never thought you'd be doing. So, yeah, no, Black History Month was definitely a highlight. Because I thank you very much for joining us and thank you all for watching.